I want to explore the chemistry of these cleaners that change color. First, let's get a little bit of an idea of this color changing effect. I'm going to take this particular cleaner here, spray it onto this bag. I'll show you what the color looks like. You can sort of see that blue color and it's sort of fading over time. I'm now going to repeat this experiment. We'll use this one this time. Spray the cleaner onto this bag. But in this bag, instead of spraying the cleaner onto the bag, I'm going to spray it into the bag. And the reason why I'm doing that is I want to protect the cleaner from the air. And now we can sort of see the difference that we might observe in the rate of color change. It's pretty clear there's something in the air that causes this color change from blue to white. What might it be? Well, the main component of air is nitrogen gas. 78% of the air is nitrogen gas. And what I have here is a bag that's filled with nitrogen gas. So I'm going to squirt some of this cleaner into this atmosphere of nitrogen and see what happens. Spray it in. Seal it up. Let's watch. It doesn't look like there's much color change going on. So I'm guessing that nitrogen is not responsible for the blue to white color change. There's another component of air that's present in a pretty large amount, and that's oxygen. About 21% of air is oxygen gas. So here I have a bag that's filled with oxygen gas. And I'm going to go ahead and spray the cleaner into this atmosphere of oxygen. And we'll watch what happens. Once again, it doesn't look like there's much of a color change going on. So I can eliminate oxygen as the component of air that's causing this blue to white color change. Well, what might it be? Well, I do know that air contains a little bit of carbon dioxide, but it's only 0.04% of the air that's carbon dioxide. Nevertheless, I'm going to go ahead and test this. I have a bag that's filled with carbon dioxide gas. And I'm going to go ahead and spray my cleaner into the uh, atmosphere of carbon dioxide. Well, <laughs> I think we may have found the culprit that is responsible for this blue to white color change. Look at that. There's another way that you can show that carbon dioxide is responsible for this color change. Uh, you can do that in the following way. I'm going to spray both of these bags with the cleaner, leave them exposed to air. And on this one, I'm going to breathe my exhaled breath, which contains 4% carbon dioxide that is going to be a hundred times the concentration of carbon dioxide that's in the air. I think there's a pretty big difference. So 
So we've established that carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, when it interacts with uh, these cleaners, it changes something in the cleaner from a blue color to a white color. Well, what is it in the cleaner that undergoes this blue to white color change? To sort of maybe figure this out, I'm going to take some of this cleaner here, and I'm going to spray it into the bag. And I'm spraying it into the bag to keep it protected from the air so we can keep that nice blue color. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some acid to this. And I'm adding acid because I suspect that there's an acid base indicator in here. I suspect this acid base indicator is blue when it's uh, in basic conditions and white or colorless when it's in more acidic conditions. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this acid in here and sure enough. By the way, the acid that I'm adding is 0.1 molar a 0.1 molar solution of citric acid. So that's pretty obvious. I'm going to go ahead and mix this down here. Pretty obvious that the presence of acid has changed the color from blue to colorless. There's a particular indicator called thymol thaline that is just this. It's, it's uh, blue in basic conditions. Um, blue in a pH of about you know 10 and above and if it gets uh, pH below 10 which I was easily able to do by adding some acid um, a pH below 10 it's going to go to colorless it's roughly 10 so I'm pretty sure that the uh, component that's in these cleaners that uh, undergoes this color change is thymol thaline Now I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, mixture of thymol thaline and other stuff to do a, uh, an experiment. So I'm going to do, take a small graduated cylinder and I'm going to add the thymol thaline to the graduated cylinder and I'm going to try to do it in a way where you can't see that I've actually added anything to the cylinder. It's a neat trick you can do for your, your students. So remember, this mixture contains cleaner, but it, the, the part that I'm interested in is the thymol thaline. And that thymol thaline, when I pour it in like that, it's going to look colorless. I'm going to turn this like this so the students can't tell there's anything in the bottom of the graduated cylinder. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide. That should change the pH of this to more basic conditions and drive the color change from colorless to blue. What's interesting about this is I'll be pouring a clear and colorless solution into this graduated cylinder and it turns blue. It's a neat little trick. Now the last question we might have is why is it that the carbon dioxide when it mixes with this acid base indicator thymol thaline, why does it drive that blue to white or that blue to colorless color change? Well when carbon dioxide dissolves in water it forms carbonic acid and there you have it. If I put carbon dioxide into this solution carbonic acid will form and that carbonic acid will lower the pH driving the color change from blue to colorless. To see this happen I'm going to add a few pieces of dry ice to the graduated cylinder. Remember that dry ice is solid carbon dioxide. So when I place this in here carbon dioxide should bubble through the solution you might get some foaming from the detergents in the cleaner. And as that carbon dioxide bubbles through the solution, some carbon dioxide dissolves in the solution, reacts with water to form carbonic acid, and that's going to lower the pH. And when it finally gets to a region of uh, below roughly a pH of 10, we should start to see that color change from blue to colorless.
there it goes. <laughs>